I am the Nature Hacker, and this is your world. So today I want to talk about um, REM sleep. What is REM sleep exactly? And it's pretty simple. I mean, just off the bat, REM sleep is a rest for the prefrontal cortex. And that is really all that it is. There's nothing super special about what goes on in REM sleep. Uh, you might notice that my beard is gone. That was a um, a trimmer mistake. I wanted to just trim it slightly, not take it all the way down. But uh, you know, I have to learn what the numbers mean and everything on the settings. So yeah, I kind of look like a girl slash a little kid. But uh, that's why I'm gonna have beards, is so that we have a bigger jaw. Anyway, um. REM sleep, so it's always been a a big um, mystery, you know, like, you know, we all know that REM sleep is very important for health and everything, and mental health especially, and we didn't know, you know, like, the thought is, what, what does REM sleep do, or, you know, what, um, what happens to the brain in REM sleep, you know, like, as far as, like, what, what is done in REM sleep in the brain that, um, you know, makes us more creative and things like that. But, you know, it turns out it's not anything that's done in REM sleep. It's not that anything happens in REM sleep. It's actually that the brain actually gets to rest in REM sleep. So, um... So that's what's happening is the brain is actually resting and it's this frontal part, you know, this frontal part of the brain, you know, this frontal part here that rests during REM sleep, the part that is the executive function. And the way that I found this out was um, I was having a dream just just late, just uh, recently, just within like the last hour, I was having a dream. And, um, I woke up, and I looked at something on my ceiling, I woke up and looked at it, and it just, it just meant nothing to me, it just, I didn't know what it was, you know, it was just, there was just no, <laughs> I couldn't tell what it was at all, I, I, just, I saw it, but it wasn't ringing a bell, you know, I didn't recognize it, you know. And I kind of had that experience before, but it, it always, usually it would like turn kind of dark. Like let's say I woke up and I didn't know where I was and it was kind of like, where am I, you know, like, but this wasn't like that. This was, this was just like pure, just, you know, no thoughts at all. Just like didn't know what it was and recognize it, you know, just... So that, that made it more clear to me what is actually happening because that's like the base level what is happening in REM sleep. You know, you wake straight out of REM sleep, you're kind of in REM sleep for a second, you know. I didn't have the paralysis of REM sleep, you know, like sleep paralysis when you wake up and you can't move. I didn't have that. Um, but I had the the part of it where I didn't, I lost associations, I didn't recognize anything so I know I knew that that rec that recognition recognizing something is the frontal cortex that's when the information goes to the frontal cortex and the frontal cortex kind of tells it where it is it's like oh yeah you're looking for a window okay the windows are over here you know so that way you would recognize things you know so I, I realized that okay when I woke up straight out of REM sleep that um, I wasn't recognizing anything so my frontal cortex must have been shut down. And then I was like, okay, well, my frontal cortex, maybe that's just the explanation for REM sleep. That's just the explanation. You know, we all know that rest is beneficial. You know, like, let's say you're running constantly. You're obviously going to get tired and you're not going to be that good at running, right? But if you take a break and stop running, then you'll be able to get up and run more and harder and you'll be able to run better, you know? So you need that break, I mean that rest, that's, that's really all that it is, it's just rest that's needed. You know, nothing special happens in REM sleep that makes you creative or anything. It's just, 
it stops your frontal cortex. So you're no longer processing things. You know, you're no longer saying, okay, this goes here and this goes here and this goes here. You're just, it just goes, just turns off and then the rest of the brain is functioning without it. And um, that makes sense because for f several reasons. The first reason being, I just looked now online and it turns out that yes, the prefrontal cortex, which is this front chunk of the brain, is hypoactive, which means it is less active in REM sleep than other sleeps and definitely during wakefulness. So it's proven scientifically, so that just means that my observation was correct, my my reasoning of my observation was correct. And um, yeah, so that's that. Um, also, it also makes sense because um, the brain functions at around um, uh, 50 to um, to 100 hertz, you know, during REM sleep. It's a very high frequency sleep, and that makes sense because the frontal cortex slows everything down. You know, the frontal cortex is like, wait, um, I need to find out where that goes. Okay, I need wait, stop. I need to find out where that goes. Wait, I need to do that. So without the frontal cortex shut turned on, um, it's just like. Doo -doo 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 doesn't get slowed down by the processing of the frontal cortex. So um, so that makes sense as far as frequency, you know. Um, frequency of waking um, consciousness is much lower than in REM sleep. And in you know, other types of sleep, its frequency is much lower too. And so that, you know what, this, that's the sad part, is that um, our power grid is designed to uh, disrupt REM sleep because it's high frequency at 60 hertz so that means that once your your brain is ramping up into REM sleep you know it's like it's 40 50 60 bings down because it's hitting the resonant frequency of the power grid of your electrical appliances in your house and stuff so um, when when your brain is going up, if it hits a resonant frequency, your your brain wave amplitude gets so high that it it freaks it out and pulls it back down, pulls the frequency back down. Either you wake up, or you um, you just go to a lower st stage of sleep. So you want to be able to have that range from. Um, 40 hertz to 50 hertz to 60 hertz to 70 hertz to 80 hertz 90 hertz 100 hertz and once you get all of that range that means that your whole frontal cortex is shut down but our power grid is designed to keep our REM sleep under 60 hertz it pings up to 60 and then comes back so that's a problem so the key is you know to unplug your house basically to shut off circuit breakers and stuff while you're trying to sleep that way you don't get hit with that hurts um and uh, let's see what else um oh yeah uh, other countries other countries are like 50 hertz so they can't even get up to 50 it's like bing 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 and in America we get up to 60 so we get a little more and that's probably why we're more creative on a whole in America is because we can get up a higher frequency of REM sleep without getting hit by the uh, electrical grid. So that's that. Um, REM sleep is no mystery. It's just rest for the frontal cortex. And, you know, I have, you know, I, I did a sleep study at one point. I had very little REM sleep. And that would make sense because I had very, my executive function was struggling, you know, like decision making, prioritization, all that stuff was struggling, which makes sense because my frontal cortex was just always going. It just was never resting, you know. So now hopefully I'm getting more REM sleep, so I'm uh, getting better at executive functions. So that's, that's about it. I don't know what else to say. Oh yeah, well, other than the conspiracy that, um, you know, the electrical grid is designed to make a REM sleep go away, coffee makes 
hyper activates the frontal cortex. So our frontal cortex is being bombarded by a lack of REM sleep and by um, by juicing it up with like coffee and stuff. So um, the drug of America, America's soma coffee. Um, so yeah, so. That's why everybody's so dumbed down, why everybody is so burnt out, why everybody's just like sheep, like believing the government and all that. I mean, and that's designed, you know, they'll keep that frontal cortex activated so that, you know, they can control the population. They can get as much work as possible out of you and they can tell you what to do and you're not going to have any better ideas. So you're just going to slave away for the system, do whatever they want, and um, never question it. So, that is the truth. I am the Nature Hacker. Go do work.